Now there's a black bear scat. Interestingly enough, this appears to be composed of apple peels. So this scat was probably made by the bear that has been getting into that apple tree in the previous video. Pretty good size. There's a six inch ruler for comparison. Bear scats can be up to two inches in diameter. The diameter would be that way. And this teeth. I guess I could start focusing a little better there. Now you can see the diameter. Close to two inches. And notice if you look closely, these are all apple peels. They aren't digested completely. And they came through the bear's digestive system. This gap appears to be almost exclusively apple. The time of year right now is early fall. In fact, it's probably the second day of fall. And in this time of year, black bears are putting on a lot of weight. Very soon they're going to be denning up and sleeping most of the winter away. So they need to put on a lot of fat. Late summer, early fall is the time when bears eat a lot. And they get as fat as they can because they're not going to be eating for quite a few months. These types of foods are not available in winter time. So a large animal like a bear will not be able to find much food available during that season. That's why they den up and sleep. In my area, bears don't completely hibernate. They do wake up and wander around in the winter time. I found their tracks in January, December, when it's really cold out and raining and there's no food, but the bears have been out wandering around. Here's another black bear scat. Pretty large, as you can tell, a six inch ruler. This one's composed of a couple different types of food. Looking closely at the scat, you can see the apple peels here. And you can also see these seeds here. These appear to be manzanita berries, which are ripe this time of year. More apple peel there. So this bear has been eating manzanitas and apples. Interesting diet. So this particular scat is very typical of what you'll find late in the season when some of the larger fruits are ripened and ready to be consumed by the bears. In a lot of areas there's wild apple trees either planted by homesteaders or just transported in bird scats and growing wild. And in this case I happen to know that the apple tree this bear has been feeding on is one of the ones that just wild, uh, grew wild naturally. So keep an eye out for scats. They're not tracks, but they are signs, and they do tell you what animals have been in your area, where they've been feeding, what they've been feeding on. So it's a great learning opportunity for a tracker. See you on the trail.